It's a high stake rollout live on Channel 5 on December the 1st in Bolton. Coming back from a world title defeat, Lee McGregor looks to bounce back against highly rated Isaac Lowe. This is a featherweight clash you cannot miss. And today, digitally, the guys go face to face. Lee McGregor, Isaac Lowe, welcome both of you. Some show we've got lined up ahead of us here. Lee, start with yourself. How good does it feel to be back? Yeah, no, um, I'm buzzing. It's um, I've been I've been eager to get back in the ring and and fix fix the the things that went wrong in the previous fight and uh, just get back um, get back in the ring and and get back showing everyone um, the real Lou McGregor. I appreciate now probably isn't the time to fully go into that fight, but let's just have a quick chat about it. What what did go wrong in that fight? What 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 happened in just, Edinburgh? Just. Um, I don't know where to start. To be honest, I think um, people, the people close to me, know. Um, even people from the outside know it was it's not been a smooth um, past couple of years. Uh, inactivity really, really cost me. Um, lost a hell of a lot of momentum, um, and uh, just such unfortunate circumstances with with many um, many obstacles put in my way, and um, I just found myself being going 13 months inactive and going from getting spoken about potentially being Britain's next world champion and, and all things like that off the back of that Karim Duffy win for the European title to, to not being able to get a fight and um, still trying to train through it all and it was just, it was hard, it was um, mentally uh, training as well as physically so yeah just the momentum and inactivity really cost me in that fight, and uh, you could you could see I showed moments, um, good moments. I showed good glimpses of myself, but I just didn't, didn't have um, the real engine and that what I normally do have, and and I think that was the the lack of inactivity and that that cost me in that fight. Uh, forget the name of the opponent for a moment. Does that make this fight, given that it's the one after a loss, all the more important? Because it's your bounce back. Yeah, no, of course. Uh, I, I know that's um, again. It's another one um, straight back into a good fight. A straight back into another title fight. It's uh, nobody can can question or fault me for for taking on any challenge that's put to me. Because um, the fighter I am, and that's I've been like that my my whole career. I, I backed down from nothing, and um, when I got presented this opportunity, there was no hesitations as usual. Again, I've said it in the build-up, um, me being so um, game for any any challenge could one day maybe be my downfall, and that kind of half proved to be the case in my last fight. I still don't think I lost because he was better than me. Uh, I know for a fact I can win that fight, um, and that was me. I wouldn't say my worst, but nowhere near 100%, and I tell you what, it was a fantastic fight, and uh, I gave a very good account of myself in a good fight, but me knowing me being myself at a hundred percent, I won that fight without a doubt in my mind. So there was always the talk of the rematch as well. Um, but I feel like and I do I can't say this now, going with a, a thirty months in activity and then going straight back into that fight. Um although it was up at super bantamweight, I was already um a big bantamweight. So even Moving up to Super Bantam, it was still just as much a struggle, to be honest. And um, I feel if I was to go back down that way and take the rematch again, straight away, um, I wouldn't really be giving a true reflection of myself and representing myself as good as what I know I can be, because I know that's why I lost. Um, I lost that fight due to just, um, just being mentally and physically drained. It was a hard fight, and um, the build-up to the fight uh, was hard as well. And this one is going to be a lot smoother. It's going to be a lot better. And it's a big fight. It's an exciting fight. It's one the fans will like. And um, yeah, buzzer, can't wait. Isaac, welcome to the party. Big fight. Enough, Lee Lee big fight, says, says Lee McGregor. He, he wants to bounce back with a win. And you're the man in his way. Before we get there, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Good win for you last time out. Yeah. I, I'm just listening to what Lee said then, um, and it, in a, a lot of ways I agree with him, and I feel for him because I've had it myself mm -hmm. uh, last year. Uh, well, with this year up to up to July, I couldn't get a fight for diamonds. I was training from December onwards, and I couldn't get, I couldn't really get a fight. And then 
when you're training, you're trying to make weight or control your weight, I should say, and you're looking down and and you're trying to do things, it's quite hard, do you know what I mean? It's hard to slip up when you're thinking, you're doing all this work sometimes, and you're thinking, when can I get a, when can I shot on? And Lee probably agree with me on this. When you're getting off a little six rounders, or eight rounders against kids where you know, where you know you're going to be beating, and you can't really get out, get that, get up for the post. It's really hard sometimes, do you know what I mean? And, it, and that's how I felt at the beginning of the year. I thought, I'm doing all this training, I can't really get a fight. And it's like he was saying, going back, taking fights back to back. Obviously, he's jumping in for another tough fight, and credit to him. But there's no difference when I, after I got beat against Lopez for the final limit of the IBS. I jumped straight in with Nick Ball. I could have went the, the easy way around it. I could have got a, another eight-rounder or I could have picked me opponent who I wanted. Uh, and I never, do you know what I mean? Obviously, that maybe that never unfolded as well. But the, the, the ball for us are both two game lads. We both will fight anyone. I think when Lee got made opportunity on me, he never said no in a heartbeat. And the same when I got off at Lee, I said, yeah, it's in a heartbeat. You know what I mean? We're going to give the fans a, a great fight. It's going to be... We both know each other's bound. Uh, styles, as I said, we... We've done rounds together. We know what we're going to bring. We, there's no ifs and buts. There's no selling this fight or we're going to do this. I like Lee as a person. All we've got on with him. But I think I think the winner of this is the fans from fight night because we're going to go there for 30, 30 minutes, 36 minutes, whatever it is, and punch the shit out of each other and then probably go to the bar afterwards and have a pint. Um, very, very good. Very well. Very, very well put. Um, let me ask you, Isaac. How are you? How are you going to beat Lee? Why? Why? Why is he? I, I agree. Very nice guys, both of you. But ultimately, you're saying he's made a mistake in taking this fight because you you want the win. Why do you beat him? I I I, I just honestly think I'm not saying Lee has, and I, I'm not saying it is Lee, but I think people around him, team he's got around him, not saying his team, but there's certain people around him who who think I've passed it, and uh, maybe I went over the hill a little bit, or I'm not 100 percent dedicated, or I've been messing about, or I haven't been given 100%, but this is the fight what I needed to give 120%. Like I've just said two minutes ago, doing six rounders, eight rounders, when, the, when I've boxed a final limit as well, titles of the box the British Europeans combo. I've made box for every title and what you possibly can get. But so doing little six rounders, eight rounders here and there, it's no good for me or Lee or for anyone. I need big fights. I need a big name. And Lee's a big name. He's a big, he, he, and I know, for both of us, really, it's really win-win for both of us. We both got to win. We both know if we both win, we're back on that platform. We're back where we want to be. And um, and as I said, it's a fight what's got me. My teeth's grit down. I'm doing everything by the book. I'm sleeping, eating, training. And come fight night, I'll have no excuses. I'll be there. I'll give 120%. And I think what I do, Lee does good, but I do even better. And that's what wins with the fight. Lee? Over to yourself. Isaac says he's going to be the man to to not let you bounce back with a win. Why do you win this fight? I just I come back and I I show my class. You know, I feel like even in that last fight, it's just like there's moments where I look back and I'm and I watch it and I just. But Lee, I Lee myself. you you've got you can't take me as for that Mexican. You, you, there's two different fighters. I know. Yes, you you done good and you come bounce back and you're out lost. But you, if if you if you're putting yourself down at me, I should say, to be that Mexican be better than me, then you, you you're overlooking me. No, listen, I don't need to overlook anybody. I know what I need to do. Um, going back on what I said, going into this fight, I just need to go back to my back to me being me. You know, um, using my own brain, using my own boxing ability, boxing smart. Everybody knows I can fight. Sometimes I maybe fight a bit too much. Um. I am a box fighter, you know, I, I can fight on the inside, but I can also box, and um, people are going to see a mix of both uh, become December the 1st, and get, just get back to where I need to be, where I want to be, um, I think, uh, going back on Isaac saying that um, members of my team or whoever, they think um, overlooking Isaac or, or stuff like that, listen, I'm back home now, I'm happy, um, I'm training back home um, with my family, I turned professional in 2017 um, and I've been away from home, I went to London as soon as I turned professional and even when I was, uh, before I turned professional I was on Team GB um, and I was down in Sheffield before then so you go back 2016, we're now approaching 2024, you know I'm 26 now, I've got a family, I've got a little girl who's five next month and um, 
I think the place for me to be is home and I feel like I haven't been able to perform at my best because I can honestly say I've not been as happy as one, what I want to be and how can you perform your best? I know it's an old cliche, a happy fighter is a dangerous one, but it's so true. You know, how, how can you go into the gym and perform at your best if you're not, you're not yourself really? Um, so I'm now, I'm in, my, I'm in my own home, I'm waking up in my own bed, I'm waking up with my fiance, I'm waking up with my daughter, I'm taking my daughter to school, I'm going to the gym, I'm training hard, I'm eating well, like Isaac says, eating well, sleeping well, training well, living the life, and uh, I just think that's really going to show uh, come come fight night, because um, I'm happy me, I, I don't think anyone at my weight, I can challenge them all, at the very, everybody in the world, you know, I've been sparring very good fighters, um, world champions off the back of um, Lee Wood, as Isaac said, Nick Ball, these guys are world level fighters, you know, I'm, I'm training, sparring and I know, I know for a fact I, I belong at that level and I'm going to show that on uh, December the 1st. Can Isaac Lowe, in your opinion, handle uh, a fully fit, happy, fully switched on Lee McGregor? No, honestly, I don't think so. But listen, actions speak louder than words, and I've always said that, and I've always proved that. So, um, just yeah, gonna wait till fight night. But I, I don't think, um, I think like you just said, they're fully fit, fully focused, happy Lee McGregor. I don't think, um, and again, this is me now at featherweight, gonna be comfortable at that. I'm gonna be strong at that, and um, yeah, I think deal, deal wise, it can. Uh, we look, we look, uh, we set a path for, over Christmas and. And I think it won't be too long before I'm challenging for them big titles again. Uh, it's just obviously another now new way. I could arguably that's that's I could arguably already be a world champion just with a bit of luck on my side. You know, I was I was held out by a bit too long. I was ranked number one for ages. And now I knew he was a champion. Um my team, everybody around me obviously, I don't know if I was maybe nine, ten, eleven fights, um it would be yeah. crazy to put me in just then. So we tried to wait, and, and a bit of luck, I, I could have got there. You know, Paul Butler was 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 a champion round about then as well, and then that was a fight I I, I know for a fact was confident I could win, and I just didn't get any luck. Um, so forget about that. Um, for me, twenty six year old, to ex I've experienced what I've experienced as as mad, and achieved what I've achieved as well. And I think people do forget that. Um, I'm only 26 year old. People are just beginning their, their professional journeys then. So I think it's, it's definitely going to do me in good stead for this next chapter of my career. Isaac, same same question to you. Can can a fully can Lee McGregor handle a fully fit, fully focused, happy Isaac Lowe? Nope, definitely not. <laughs> uh, I I think me and my back, me and my best game, fully fit, fully focused. Um, I can mix it with the best. I've been, I've been in with some of the best fighters in the world. I've been, I've been all over the world training. I've been all, all over the world sparring. I sparred with some of the, the world champions. I've been in the ring with some of the best. Uh, and I, I just don't think Lee can cope with me on the on the night. And especially coming up to featherweight. Uh, all right, you can say he's big and he's big and being strong, but um, we'll see on the night. I, I'll. I was I was able to get punched. I'm not saying I'm the biggest puncher in favourite weight, but uh, I punch a lot harder, a lot, a lot harder than the guys that we've been been in with. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it all unfolds. I think we're both two exciting fighters, but we'll, I think we're both going to, to bring it. But there's no doubt in my mind there's only one winner come December the first, and that's Isaac Rowe. Does it excite you that he's saying you can't handle him? That he's going to come? He's going to come looking? You know? Yeah. Listen, we're, we can all we can all say this and that, and it's a true thing. We can say we're going to box, we can say we're going to fight, we're going to say, and we're going to do this game. And once Manning gets in that ring and we both get punched in the face, it's game on. We're both two fighting men, we're both two game lads, and that's what's going to happen. At some point, we're going to have a dugout. I know that, he knows that. Yes, we'll, we'll be working to plans and whatever, he'll have a game plan, I've got a game plan. I know a lot of things what he does wrong, he probably know a lot of things what I do wrong. But it's about holding your emotions on the night and getting through it and uh, see who can, who can adapt to it the most. I feel like a boxer at the higher level. I've been, I've been boxing big arenas, I've boxed all, all over the world. I think I'm, I'm, I'm more mature. Uh, but we'll see. Listen, uh, it's a fight where, as I said, it's got me to bite my teeth, but beat, bite my teeth down and knuckle down. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. I think this is the fight what I needed this part of Christmas. I said, you get through Liam McGregor, once I get through him, 
it's a good name on paper, it's a good name what I'll be. And then uh, 20, uh, 2024, we've got some big fights there, and um, we're going we're to make some big fights again. But as I said, one eye on Lee McGregor, get through him, which I will do, and I'm looking to do a, a designated job on him. Do you think you knock him out? I wouldn't say I'm going to knock him out, but if I knock him out, I'll knock him out. I'm going to win. So whichever way it comes, stop, knock out, swallow for fishing, whichever way my hand's getting raised, I'm defending first. I made a promise to my little boy I wouldn't be losing this fight, so they've got to carry me out there on the stretcher before I'll be going out. Lee, it would be uh, amiss of me not to mention the fact you had a little bit of a grin coming up on your face then. Do you like what you're hearing from Isaac Lowe? Yeah, but again, it's... It's all well and good saying it over phones, cameras, and and it, it, like you said, there we get in the ring. We there was only two in there in that ring, um, taking the shots, throwing the shots, and uh, that's that's the exciting part. And you know that's that's when the the talking is done when we're in the ring. So, um, yeah, no, listen, I like what I hear. Uh, sounds like he's going to come and have a go and have a fight. And we all know I don't back down from that, but at the same time, um, I'm going to come in with a with a smart head, and um, I'm going to outbox Isaac and outfight him, and mm-hmm. um, just just pick up this belt, pick up this title, crack on, and um, yeah, just start this new chapter in my career. So, think- what do you do, Lee, if you lose against me? Like, do you think do you think it's a game over then if you lose to me? There's not a doubt in my mind that I lose well, to you. Well, no, but uh, obviously, obviously, I understand what you said. There's not a doubt in my mind. But what about if you lose? Is that you? Is, is this? If I, is this? If you lose, you retire. Is it one of the? Is it one of them fights where where do you where do you go then? Or what 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 this is? This is why because uh, when you like, do lose against me, when you do lose, what you're gonna what? do then? That's what you've got to think. You, you, you's obviously picked me. You's a come for me. So obviously you're a confident fair player. And I'm, I'm extra comfortable. Just think on December the second when you wake up and wherever that we are in Bolton, in the hotel room or whatever. And listen, I'll always be your mate. We'll have a pint that night. And when you lose to me and we shake hands, we have a pint. And you think I shouldn't, I shouldn't have picked you, Isaac. I shouldn't have picked you. I shouldn't have picked someone else. You think, I see I the thing is. The, the the thing is with me, there's 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 no I don't pick anybody that I fight. You know, whoever gets put to me, whoever says that's fight, I say okay. No I agree. I, I understand. So I was told I Isaac will fight. I said yes, no problem. The rematch was there as well for that um, title fight with the Mexican. Could have probably done it, but I thought, you know what? I'm not going to go down there. And I'm not going to give a true reflection of myself as a fighter. You're going to get the best version of Lee McGregor. You're going to get everybody's going to see the truth for myself. So, well, that's why well, I've, that's, I've said yes. That, that's, 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 that's music to my ears because, we, and the same for, for me to you. You don't want to eat me coming out on December the 2nd or whatever. Oh, well, I've never done this. Or I wasn't myself. I wasn't. We both had a fight. We're both preparing good. And listen. As I said, I've got full respect for you, but no bad word to say about you. I'm not on either slag each other off. But we'll go in there and give a good fan. We'll shake your hand at the end of it. But you know, I know, and probably 90% of the people know, the best size at law and the best labor bag, there's only one one that size at law. <laughs> well, we should, go and, we should go on a poll or something on Twitter. So I'm going to ask the public, and I guarantee there'll be more... There'll the be public, more... Um... The, the... Yeah, but the, the, me. So the, I don't know where you've got that the, statement the, from, Isaac. Come on, the, the, come on. The... the, 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 the Public can say what they want. The public can say them just do what they want. Just come out, it's just come out your mouth. It, you just said 90, 90% of the people will say Isaac. Well, Lowe. Like, well in boxing, normal, normal boxing people would say me. But then again, it doesn't matter if they don't say Is me. that? Is it, that? Are, it is what it are is. Are you 100%? Everyone, every, every, everyone has their opinion. Are you 100% being honest well, with yourself? I know, you know. You're trying to convince yourself, Isaac. Come on. I, I'm pretty. Pre- I'm three thousand, three thousand percent confident. I, you, I, I, you won't even probably last the full ten rounds with me. Oh, you will walk on to one. You will walk on to one. You will you. walk on to one when you oh, do. On. You, you, and then, then you, then you know. 
I get you. I get what you're saying, Isaac. You're trying to sell the fight. I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not a little bit. I'm not. I'm trying to give yourself. I don't need to sell that. Give yourself some confidence. Come on. I don't, Lee. You know deep down. I don't need to sell the fight. The person's already been agreed. The same as yourself, so I'm not getting no pe- no, no more money for a pay per view. I don't need to sell it. The fight is done. The fight's on. Mate, First of December. No, the exactly. Marine. Here we go. So we don't need to sell it. Listen, when we I get have, in that ring, December the first, there's only going to be one man. I'm always like that. But no wrong word. No wrong word. You got a bad signal as well. Well, so we've only got six the weeks to is, wait. The, the signal is sort of... Uh, well, <laughs> I think it was quite an entertaining exchange. Um, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap things up here because I want to give us something. You, you guys might say you don't have to sell the fight. I want to see this fight sold big time because I think there's a great rivalry brewing here. Um, and I get that you two are friends. You, think, you, should, you should give me... I'm you should give me and Lee an increase on pay for selling it. <laughs> unfortunately not my decision Isaac <laughs> but, uh, but listen I respect the hustle in asking um, listen you guys are obviously going to be friends after it whether you're friends or not in the next six weeks I, I don't know but it's, it's listen it's a fight it's a, it's a great fight it's high stakes I think it's fair to say uh, for both fighters and it's one that we can't wait to see it's live on channel 5 Lee McGregor, uh, Lee McGregor Isaac Lowe look forward to seeing you both and Bolton thank you both very much for joining us we'll see you on the other side guys